Okay, so in this video we're going to be looking at rays on attack bind. Um, we're going to be doing like a little like series of rays. Um, going to probably do split and sunset as well, um, both attack and defense. So when looking at rays on attack, how we want to be playing it, this is just rays in general. Like we want to be playing fast. We want to be making sure we're taking space, and we need really good map awareness as well um, to making sure like we're not going to end up in a situation where we're just going to insta die, um, which is where I see like a lot of like maybe new race players or like lower elo race players where you know they will just satchel somewhere random right they're not even taking in any info whatsoever they're just kind of like caveman satcheling in just like into sight or like doing some i don't even know so what's really important is that we have the fundamentals down on raise right she's quite a complex and quite a difficult agent so it's really important to make sure we have things that we know are going to work every single time now why she's really good is Obviously her util is insane at clearing space and taking space, which is perfect for a map like Bind, which is like super yeah. close quarters. Um, there's a lot of like yeah. tight angles, positions people can be. So yeah, that, that's why, you know, Raze is, argue, uh, Raze is the strongest duelist on this map. So we'll start off by looking at showers. We'll go to short, hookah, yeah. then we'll do be long. Um, when looking at showers, if we're taking showers slowly, you know, maybe they're, you know, they're smoking showers, they're fighting it quite a lot, they're, you know, it's pretty heavily contested. Um, when this smoke begins to fade, you can just throw a boom bot here. You know, you can nade this back corner, um, you know, and, and you can take it like this. The only thing you really have to be careful of is maybe a guy could be close, right? So, um, you know, you can even, you know, run out, clear it, or you can spam it early, right? Um, and this is just literally, it's going to clear the whole of showers. If you pair this with a flash, you know, there's really nothing the enemies can do. Um, and it's going to give you this space for free. So that's what you want to be doing if we're taking showers uh, pretty slowly. If we're taking it fast, um, there's two satchels you can do. There's one on top of this box. I'm, I'm not a fan of this one. I, I don't, it doesn't work for me. Um, I, I usually just satchel from here. So, um... And this is good if, let's say that you know you have a breach stun, maybe you have a sky flash, you know you really want to take showers, and you can just touch it like that, or um, yeah, you can touch it a little bit deeper. It's like this. This one is kind of better. Like it, let's say they're swinging showers a lot. This one's better because you, you're gonna be able to like have your gun out and actually react. You know if they are peeking. Whereas the deeper one's better if you just really want to, you know, take the space as fast as possible. Like, you know, you can just fly in, take the space as fast as possible, nade close, um, you know, and then take A, right? So that's, that's like this, this satchel. And then there's the one up here, like, I have not really got it down. Um, yeah, I'm, that, you could do it like that, but I, I'm, not, I'm not a fan of it. I don't recommend this one. I don't know. I see so many people doing it, but... I mean, yeah, I guess, I guess it's okay, but I feel like this one's just a lot faster. Um, so that, that's like the how we want to be taking showers in general. In terms of short, um, maybe, you know, your skies towards showers, maybe helping whoever take showers. Uh, maybe your sky's just not here, you don't have one, right? Um, this boombox really good to, to just clear this course area and what you need to be thinking about is when when we're taking a right like where else are you gonna need to use your boom bot there's literally two places like you either use it here or you use it on lamps so because after after this there, there's not really anywhere else to use it right you're gonna be flying into sight and like fighting everyone so you might as well use your boom bot like in one way or another now let's say you, you know you're just doing a fast air hit. Your sky's here. He's doing his dog. So your sky's dogged. He's cleared this, um, cleared close, right? And he's starting to clear lamps. How you want to, how you want to really be pushing? You know, is obviously you know clear the guy top truck. You're gonna be running up, um, throw your boombot down, and then as the dog is getting to about here, um, you know you can satchel in, right? I don't recommend satcheling from on top of the box. Main reason why is like I just feel like I, I hit my head sometimes on this like 
is a little bit quicker, you get a bit deeper, but there's more room for error. Like this one's way more consistent. Like I, I just seem to do better off, off the floor. Um, so, but yeah, you, you know, obviously you can go off the box if you really want. Um, I guess the good thing about going off the box is it's a little bit harder to kill you if there's a guy like here. But I mean, the dog's probably going to clear it anyway, right? So it's not, it's not that deep. Um, and yeah, and then obviously you follow your dog into lamps. You can take lamps. And another good thing you can do, so let's say your Sky is, you know, he's dog lamps, right? Cleared lamps, and you see a guy in this stairwell area, and, um, you know, it's towards CT, in that area right there, right? You know, say you have a judge, even if you have a Vandal, or, you know, you have your Raze Rocket, um, I'll just shoot that. Right. You have your Raze Rocket, you can just satchel off the box onto this guy, like literally on top of him. You know, kill him, take take lamps. It's a really good way to get an entry. And this feels really dangerous, but it's actually not because you need to think, right, you're gonna have a brim smoke here, you're gonna have a brim smoke here. So these smokes are gonna be coming out to like here, right? So you're, at, you're gonna be like pretty covered um, from the smokes. And yeah, again, another really good way to take, um, you know, to get a pick and take lamps. What is really important on Raze is that we're like, we're aware of the map and we're aware of what's going on. So let's say, you know, maybe there's a guy in lamps and there's two people fighting showers, okay? And your teammates are fighting these people's showers. What do you think is the most effective way? Like, the, how can we have the most impacts in this situation? Like, is such an impact site really going to do that much? Because these guys have still got to fight these people's showers, right? These people's showers aren't going anywhere. The guy lamps is hidden. So you satchel in backside, it's not going to do anything because you're going to satchel backside, right? Even though you know backside is clear. This guy is going to tell his teammates, oh, there's a raise backside, Cassie T, Cassie T. So now these two people are going to be ready for you. And you've got nothing done. You know, you've taken a little bit of space, but your teammates have to worry about lamps. And you get what I'm saying. So you can just satchel, you know, into showers, right? And help your teammates in showers. Um, again, being being aware of the map and being aware of like where the enemies are is super super important. Satchel out. Satchel out. You know, you can mix your satchels up. You can satchel somewhere weird, like to satchel up here, right, and like try to kill someone. Uh, but in general, like those are the fundamental like satchels that everyone needs to know. Like as long as you can like satchel yeah. here, you can satchel yeah. into lamps. Yeah. Such a showers, yeah. such a like deep into sight, right? Like you can you can such a like all the way down here, and um, you know take all this space, maybe fight back sight. Um, if you can do this, like you, you're gonna be chilling, and it's just about situational awareness. Like as I said, you know you see the two people yeah. showers. Okay, let's do the shower satchel. Um, the guy in lamps yeah. is back here, right? Let's let's satchel on him here. Um, it's. Yeah, I, I don't know. Say you know they're playing, they're playing backside. Um, you, know, you can like all someone or do something. I, I don't know. <laughs> just, just yeah, like being aware and like actually having like a thing in your head, like I'm gonna do this. You know, doing doing things with purpose. That's what I'm saying. Rather than just brainlessly like flying around. Um, you're gonna find a lot more consistency on raise because raise is a agent that a lot of people do struggle with in terms of consistency. I'm looking at B, um, obviously we can do this, um, boom bot, which is just going to like get this guy off the angle, you know, say if someone wants to peek this early. Uh, it's not the best boom bot, I don't really do it that much, um, but I mean you can do it. If, if your teammates are going heavy on long, you know, you've got your sky dog on long, you really want to be keeping your boom bot to help you clear hookah. So, you know, let's say we peek this, we clear it, throw your boom bot, um, and then, you know, if you want you can either like, just clear it clear it with your gun or you can just nade it. I prefer to keep my nade for um, when I'm taking sight, but I mean sometimes you know you just gotta use it. Say if there's a cipher cage here or this guy's playing judge all the time, um, you know, this is gonna clear him off. So that's it, like how how we wanna be approaching B in terms of if we're going hookah. Um, you know, just be aware that you know you can get TP'd on. In terms of satcheling B, like I see a lot of people satcheling off like these boxes and they just mess it up, and I'm not a fan of it. Like, it just, I just feel like I just go really high because there's no, there's not much like space to, um, do you know what I mean? <laughs> to like, it feels like you should satchel off this, but in reality, it's just, yeah, it's not great. So. 
what we're going to do is just be satcheling off the floor. Um, and some nice places to satchel is, you know, we can satchel like here, backside, satchel on that box, uh, and we can satchel around here. You can even go elbow, it's a bit easier to go elbow from long, um, but yeah, I mean you can technically go elbow, but the problem with going elbow is, you know, you're not actually going to be helping your teammates take sight. So you need to keep that in mind. Now, what's really important when we're hitting B is that we're using our nade to complement where we're going, right? So let's say we're going, we're going to go backside. We're going to, yeah. we're going to satchel here. We really need to make sure we're nading Cubby, okay? Because what, you, what you'll see is that when you, when you, when you come here, this yeah. is really like the main. This is the place where you will die from, right? You're going to be focusing yeah. on fighting these people. So this is the place where you're going to die from. If you're satcheling here, um, the place you're probably going to die from is either. Yeah. Backside or tube, right? So you can even nade, you can even just like nade your backside or you can nade your tube. Just bounce. I don't know what that just hit, usually it works. Yeah. Um, or you can nade the inside of tube, right? So, nade the inside of tube, I just usually just throw it off the green box and it lands inside. So, so yeah, it, it wanna look something like this. You know, and then, then you fight, fight your backside. Um, again, and what's really important is you need to kind of, this is kind of like a thing that you'll get drilled is you want to make sure you're getting around here if you're such a backside because if you land here, okay, or you're just here in general, you're open to here, here, I can't ping, here, and CT, CT swing. So you're open to all and there as well, there. right? So you're open to basically every single angle on site. If you land here, okay, you're open to, I mean, a guy could be here, there. and a guy could be here, and a guy could like potentially be in tube. So you've just cut three angles out, just from landing there. Um, so again, if you want to do this, I just usually throw my nades and just kind of like fly in. Um, but yeah, that, that's, that's actually like really important. Now, if, I'm gonna go on the box. It's just like that. These are all just things like you'll just probably have to just practice it a few times, um, and you'll get it. Like it's not too difficult. So again, like if we want our nade to be complementing us, and we're gonna let's say we're gonna satchel elbow, right? We're gonna satchel elbow. The one place you can die from an elbow is yeah. cubby, right? If you land in here, yeah. this guy's like the only threat. I mean, yeah. I guess the guy could be under hooker, but it is, it is what it is. Um, so you know you can nade that. And then you just like you're an elbow, right? Obviously, satcheling from long is not like as good as hooker, in my opinion, just because like here yeah, you're a little bit higher up, right? So you can go a little bit deeper and you're more far forward. But, I mean, if you are satcheling long, like you can kind of like get back side, especially if you if you bounce here, right? So like you land here and you just bounce, you should be fine. Um, yeah, the, in terms of like where you want to go on B, you know, satcheling yeah. on top of this is okay if you know where the enemies are, right? Like, if you know there's a guy in Elba and you know there's a guy in Cubby, right? Like, satcheling up there and killing this guy is fine. Um, it just, it, it's really like, the most important thing on race is actually not your satchels, it's your map awareness. It's about knowing, okay, there's a guy here, I need to go here, or I need to clear this angle and do this. You no, know, you do have to be fairly smart as a race player, even though it looks so dumb when you're watching these race people just fly in and do crazy shit. In terms of like taking long, like if you know, let's say you're starting on long, I would just say, you know, you can you can either just like boombot close, or you can boombot um, the cubby. Like that. Or you can throw a boombot in deep. Yeah, again, the, you know, the same thing applies where it's like, when you're actually on B site, you're not going to be using your boombot, so you might as well just use it, like, as early as possible. You know, you might as well just, like, throw it here or throw it throw it here. Um, you know, if they are peeking long, say they've got a chamber, there's an off, you know, you can do it there and it'll take them off the angle. Um, the boombot itself doesn't have to be that perfect because it'll just lock on, right? Like, if there's a guy, if there's a guy stood here, and the boombox kind of like landing here, it's still gonna go for him. And that's like really it for raise, like the fundamentals of raise on bind. Um, I know obviously there's probably like some crazy raise tech, but 
you don't need that trust me like as long as you've got the fundamentals down you're making sure you're using your util properly and you're satcheling in the right places raise is pretty easy she is actually pretty easy when you've kind of got it down um, so yeah, that, that's it really for Raid's attack bind. I'm probably going to do another video on defense um, and then we're going to go sunset and split. So yeah.